Cranial nerve 5, the trigeminal nerve. This is a large cranial nerve with a motor and sensory components. The motor nucleus is located between the midbrain and pons areas. The sensory nucleus arises from the midbrain and stretches down to the level of C2 in the cervical spine. The motor component supplies the muscles of mastication, that is the masseter, temporalis and the pterygoids. The sensory component supplies the skin of the face, the cornea and general sensation to the mouth. First, observe the patient's face. Note any evidence of asymmetry caused by wasting of the muscles of mastication. Ask the patient to lower and elevate the jaw. Watch for any deviation in the jaw movement. Remember, of course, that common temporomandibular problems will cause jaw irregularities. Ask the patient to clench their teeth and feel the contraction of these muscles. Alternatively, ask the patient to bite down onto a wooden spatula whilst you attempt to remove it. Lesions of the fifth cranial nerve will result in atrophy of the ipsilateral muscles of mastication and when lowering the jaw, deviation towards the side of the lesion. Now assess the sensory component of the trigeminal nerve. Test with light touch and pin prick. You should also test for temperature sensation if necessary. Ensure that you cover all the areas in the distribution of the ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular divisions. Test for sharp and dull sensations using the sharp but occasionally substituting the blunt end of the pin. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Thank you, you can open your eyes now. Next, test for the corneal reflex using a twisted piece of clean cotton wool. Approach the eye from the side and gently touch the cornea. Both eyes should blink. Finally, test for the jaw jerk. Ask the patient to relax the jaw by leaving a small gap between the teeth. Place your finger on the patient's chin and gently percuss your own finger. Observe the reaction of the jaw, noting if the reflex is increased or absent. Lesions affecting the spinal tract and nucleus of the fifth cranial nerve will affect pain and temperature sensation. Lesions of the ophthalmic division will affect the corneal reflex. Remember that while the perception of the corneal touch is via the trigeminal nerve, the closure of the eye is affected by the facial nerve.